Hey, uh. Hello. How's it going? Hello? How's it going? Hello. Good. Cool. Hello. Hi. What is that sound? I don't know. I... Hey, uh... Oh, go ahead. No, no. Yeah. I'm just clicking around. There was like a... Uh... Sound like a motor going... Just a uh, second ago. Mm, I don't know. I was just clicking. I didn't hear anything on my end. Okay. Cool. Um. Uh, your screen is not shared yet. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Cool. Um. Uh, let's see. About the same. Uh. a lot of stuff. Um, do you have a thing that you want to work on next? Um, let's Um, we can just like, uh, yeah, let's do the uh, corner, corner thing, corner detection. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, whoops. Wait, is it ball drop? Yeah, it's ball drop. Okay, cool. Uh. All right. So, where? How do you want to detect a corner? Um. Uh... That would be a ball. Sounds good. Oh, what is find direction? Find direction. Oh, we um started to do that for boost. Um for because oh. we had just x but then we decided uh just to multiply both x and y by the same number and then that ended up working out that makes sense yeah Um, let's 
So let's see. There's a lot of functions in here. Here's boost. Can I assign X or Y? I wonder why it says that. Anyway, so you're looking for, or you're starting to do def hit corner Q. And Mm -hmm. You're looking at hit floor, hit floor, to determine whether we hit the floor. And that ends up being a little bit complicated. <laughs> I forgot about that. But yeah, we want to only consider it hitting the floor if we're not rolling. And this is true. Cool. Uh, okay, how do we want to detect the corner again? Uh, um. I could imagine we uh, detect hitting the floor and a wall at the oops, same time. Um, but I could also imagine, so this seems like it'd be the easiest to implement, um, but I could also imagine that this ends up uh, being way too hard and impossible. So another thing we could do is detect hitting the floor and a wall at nearly oops, the same time. So maybe the timestamps for hitting the floor and the wall are very close and that counts okay yeah okay, yeah um let's try doing the same time for now i think that works um Would it just be like, if, like, self dot, like, uh, if lower edge, like, just use these, equal the, the, um, screen size. Yes, and you want to take into account the fact, like, whether or not you're rolling. Which you could do. Um, but... We already have a function that does that. So we could use that function in conjunction with another 
so we have a function that tells us whether or not we just hit the floor or we are in the process of hitting the floor yeah okay so you want to use the, the the floor and the other hit questions mm-hmm Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. So you have self dot hit ceiling and self dot hit right. Okay. That will tell us if we've hit the upper right corner. Um, you don't need a else here if you don't want one. Oh, okay. You don't need to have else pass. Um, so now you have update.
I'm not getting it. Are you? I don't oh. think so. Oh, but you're printing out a lot of stuff. Yeah, I don't think so. Cool. Does it ever look to you like you hit the corner? Yeah, like right there. Yeah, okay. Well. So you're printing out stuff every time you hit a wall, it looks like. Yeah, I think so. Maybe... Um... Maybe we should print out uh, the time that we hit each of the walls, and then we can see how far apart it is when it looks like we hit the wall. Yeah. Okay. But what is just like I guess concerning is whenever if you ever do just go like super super fast, that time like the time has to the time can change. Like right now it's probably accidentally hitting left and right within a time frame, like a time, right? And that but that shouldn't consider the corner, so So we need not time based but location based huh like if it hits the corner if it hits a wall and then the very next thing it hits is the ceiling oh yeah and it's within a time frame and and the location was very very close to the other one uh-huh I guess the location of the center of the ball because the location of the hit will be slightly different because the bottom of the ball hits the floor but the left side of the ball hits the wall yeah yeah so let's make it um, print the location or let's see So, or we can just try to write this code and adjust nearly after we've written this code. What did you say? Sorry? Um, we could write this code. The code to... So I changed it from time to place. And then I also said, maybe, maybe instead of writing something to print out exactly what location the ball was at every time it hits a wall, and then trying to determine after the fact, after the fact, uh, what, what seems close enough, um, maybe we could. 
because that will print out a lot of stuff. It'll print out every time the ball hits any wall ever at all. Um, and maybe if instead of doing that, maybe if we do this, if we implement this code uh, and print out um, then then we can just adjust how far apart they are or are allowed to be and then see what looks right mm hmm hmm um So, wait. Okay, there we go. Detect hitting the floor. You're in uh, update. Oh. Um. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, like, do you think we could just like, yeah, yeah like make our own parameters, like, like using the ball's locations like if it's within 15 within 15 on the bottom and the left of the screen that is what we would consider a corner um or... well the the ball this is going to get run uh, once per frame so it's not going to have it's not gonna this code isn't gonna run once we're gonna need some way of remembering where the ball was when it hits uh, different things in the past and then we need to check right now versus the older one Okay. So what do you, so like each time it hits like a floor, do you want to like just print ball like x and like the x and y? Is that um? We need to every time we hit a wall, we need to remember where we were when we hit the wall. And then the next time we hit a wall, we need to check, are we close to where we were the last time we hit the wall? And also, which wall did we hit? So, we can't, we can't write a single function like this to do that. Do we have to... Yeah. Do that though. Can we just like right now just set It seems like it, but if you can think of a different way to do it, maybe. Like can That'd we just cool. instead of like checking where that ball is and where our ball is or like this is the same idea, but it would be a little I think easier to implement right now. It would just be like fifteen off the like give them a fifteen like pixel um like we we can adjust that number just like we don't have to it's like if the ball is hit we like on the left wall like yeah within 15 of the of the x x uh like the the bottom of the frame like within 15 of the bottom right and the next hit is the bottom and it's within 15 frames the no, 15 pixels of the left then that counts as a hit right Okay, yeah, so uh, if we hit the bottom, 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 within 15, let's say, uh, and the next hit is the wall or the left within 15, 
Uh, then that's a corner. So in order to do this, uh, how, how do you want to do this? Um, okay. Let's see. So we need to, for this to work, we need, um, uh, we need, if a wall is hit, so I guess like if a wall is hit, um, within, 15, so that's the first condition. Or is the wall hit just 15? So like the wall hit and 15. Um, and then next after that, we after we check that, we need to check uh, is next bounce or next uh, hit um, and adjacent wall. Within that same, uh, and then after we do that, um, there is, was it within 15? of the um, of the same side if that makes sense like same side as in next to it rather than like not top and bottom like if it's the top and then you hit the bottom or like that yeah like if you hit the top you don't you want to hit the top of the right not the bottom of the right Like same direction. Okay. Let's just okay. Let's do. Let's first try to do my top right corner. I think that's what I've been looking at for the, for the most part. So top right corner. How would we do that? Um. Oh wait, you don't want hit anymore. Okay, that's. You don't want hit. Well, you don't want to use the hit ceiling cue or any of that. Oh wait, no, you wait, no, you do. Why no, not? No. Uh, I I accidentally thought uh, I I had a brain fart. Oh my god, I can't. And self dot um x um was greater than and with minus fifteen. So we have a self dot center. I think we also have like a self dot left edge. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so we have a self dot center to give us position, I guess. We we have a width, right? Yeah. Okay. That's the width of the entire screen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
but when can you do it? When can you sit here? How does it look? Uh, you have to surround the whole thing in parentheses. Oh, okay. If you want to break it up across multiple lines. And I usually, if I'm going to break it uh, across multiple lines, I break it just before the and or the or so that the next line starts with an and. Yeah. Or an or or whatever. Oh, wait. No, Red wait. edge is a function. <laughs> um, so now, if this is true, then you run this if statement, right? If, like, how do you contain the time, though? Or how do you do the next hit? Um, yeah, so uh, we would need to remember have a variable that remembers where it was when it hit the wall last. Or when it hit some other when every time it hits a wall it needs to update a thing that keeps track of the location of the most recent wall that it hit. Uh-huh. Okay. So let's make that variable. Um, self dot wall hit equals none. So self dot wall dot prior wall hit equals self dot wall hit lol lol Okay. Um so that and then let's see. Now every time it hits a wall. Oh whoa, this is the wrong place. Well, this is about Oh you're in button. Ah. I guess the button could fly around the screen too. Make it harder. <laughs> it's to a game click. you have to you have to <laughs> That would be funny. Yeah. Um Okay, and then now when you do this, you would also oh you can go you can you can do this right self dot hit oh self dot hit wall prior oh, prior oh, no I did prior hit wall prior hit wall self dot hit wall self dot hit wall equals floor wall hit prior oh wall hit prior did you call it wall hit prior or prior hit wall? Uh, I said prior hit wall. Oh, uh, okay. I'll change. Oh, uh, pro prior. Yeah, prior wall. What? Prior wall hit. Wait, what? Prior wall hit. Self. What did I... And wall hit. Not hit wall. Wall hit. 
All right. Prior wall hit prior is now prior wall hit for me. I think that matches yours. OK. And we'll assign that whatever wall hit was. And then we'll update self dot wall hit to be floor. Uh, and then we would just do that for all the hits. We need also, we can't just say that it's the floor though. We need to know what location it was. Because it might hit the floor at a very shallow angle. Like maybe it comes in like this, hits the floor right here, and then barely rises at all, and then hits the wall. And I think that would be pretty clearly, oh, you can't see my mouse the whole way. Maybe it hits the ceiling at a very shallow angle, hits the ceiling, and then barely falls at all. And it's going mostly yeah. sideways and then hits the wall right there. And that would be pretty clearly not hitting the corner. Yeah, but I think what I, at least what I was hoping to do was like, you know how I did with minus 15 here? It would just be like, like yeah. if self, if prior hit blah and self, if self dot hit and prior hit, something like that yeah. and and the the the, the edge is like the, the the x and y value yeah cuz like that 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 ceiling hit would never like the corner would never like run if you hit it in the middle because it's not within that width that i set right so even if it was super shallow and hit right here and then like just drifting right here that like the corner would never so you would need to well i guess i don't know exactly where you're headed but it it doesn't seem like you have enough information the code the ball might hit the wall here within 15 of the ceiling and you don't know when it hit the ceiling how close was it at the that time unless you save it somewhere uh okay wait sorry uh let me just okay so if if you hit the ceiling and your self dot right edge is close to oh. the ceiling is that oh, wait, if you hit the ceiling. Wait. I think that's less than. No. Wait. Because this side of the screen is what? 600? If the, it's 600, 600. This side is 600, and that side is 600, right? Uh. Bottom right is 600, 600. Yeah. Okay, so if we want it here, we want it within 5. 585 so if it's greater than 585 okay so you're at def hit oops, hit corner okay so here if hit ceiling q okay and this is true oh i see what you mean okay because i was thinking you would go in the future from this but you have to use the past from this you, yeah you have to write down every time you hit a wall where you were when you hit the wall and check where was i last time i hit a wall and is that close enough to where I am now to be considered a corner hit? Or, wait, can we also just do a um, hit wall close right 
and just like self wall uh, self dot hit ceiling close right help self dot hit ceiling close left and then if you go and then like we make that a function each time and then yeah um and then we could do something with that yeah yeah you could make uh so you'd have to do for each of the four walls you'd have to do two oh. functions yeah but that, yeah you could very tedious but i could do that because then it would be the logic would be like super easy so it'd be like if this one is true and the prior edge wait no would that would that that would still have the same problem right i'm not sure which problem you're talking about like, like we we would still be looking into the past like the prior oh, yeah. yeah i don't think there's a way around having to record where you are every time you hit a wall Or at least every time, yeah, every time you hit a wall, you you can't just record when you're close to the wall because you might be close, then hit in the middle, then hit the other one. And if you only record when you're close, then you miss the fact that you had a far away one in between the two close ones. The ball would have to follow a weird trajectory for that to happen, I think, but um, it's not, like, in principle impossible for that to happen. So, like, if the ball hits this corner very close to the top, and then it comes down here, hits the middle, and then it hits the top, if you only record when you're close to the wall, or close to the corner, then if you look at your recordings you would see oh the last time i recorded i was right here hitting this side and then this time i'm hitting this up here so that means i hit the corner even though the ball went here then down here then up there <laughs> um so i think you need to record every single time you hit the wall you need to record where are you and then every time you hit the wall you can say where was i last time i hit the wall and so like let's say that we're hitting right here we can say oh okay well if i'm hitting right here then if the last time i hit the wall was i was right up here then i'll count that as a corner hit but if i'm hitting the wall right here and i the last time i hit the wall was anywhere else then it doesn't count as a corner hit Mm -hmm. so I think we just we we need to uh, for the wall hit rather than saying which wall we hit um, we need to say what our location is each time we hit the wall mm -hmm. and so instead of floor it would just be like the self dot x y yeah <laughs> a copy of the the x and y values we can't um yeah like that uh where are you you're in def hit floor q um And you're saying here, prior wall is equal to that, and then wall is equal to self dot. Wait, you had, I thought, where did you? Oh, self dot x and self dot y. We don't have a self dot x and self dot y. We have a self dot center dot x and a self.center.y. Uh -oh. And 
and then um, so that's hit floor you're doing basically the same thing for all of the other ones I'll paste those in there okay cool and now we need to uh, just before updating prior wall hit um, we need to like if right after doing this we no longer know where we were the prior time we hit the wall after doing these two things that sound what was that sound that was the door closing, uh, locking by, like, because we have oh, a okay. lock that, like, closes itself. Auto lock. Cool. Yeah. And that was that. Cool. All right. So, so yeah, every time we do this, we lose where we were before. So before this line happens, we need to... uh. Um, we need to check, compare it, see if we have a corner hit by looking at our current location and our prior location for when we hit the wall and determine, use some math to figure out whether they are close enough. Um, also, I'm now realizing that these functions determine whether we hit a wall or the floor uh, so these might not be the right place to update oh. the location true for we did hit the wall um, where exactly is the right place I'm not sure maybe it's wherever this function gets used um, well, I guess it would be here oh here let's see oh nope that's <laughs> that's funny uh, not that one where here maybe that's where you are already well I guess like the bounce left oh actually yeah here here makes more sense where else does hit left get used that's it for me do you have hit left anywhere else uh no okay um i'm trying to remember what exactly bounce left does let's go I think it's at, okay so we Adjust for discrete versus continuous left. Go the other way and decrease speed. Go the other way and decrease speed. Oh, X. Okay. I was just thinking, if we have go the other way and decrease speed and it hits the corner, that means it would go the other way and decrease speed twice. And if you go the other way twice, then you're going the same direction as you started. But this says go the other way specifically in the X direction. So if you have go the other way X direction and go the other way Y direction, that should work out. That seems fine. Um, maybe, maybe this is a good place. So when we've decided to bounce, we can update the wall hit. Um, or maybe it's better to do it here, right when we've decided that we hit one of the walls. I'm, I'm leaning towards right here where we've decided that we hit one of the walls. Yeah. I think that's good too. 
Um, So you have it, okay, so you put it there, right? Like that? Yeah. Okay. Um, now what? Oh, so just before doing this line, for example, well, doing this line uh, forgets what the prior location was. So just before doing this, we need to check the current location and the prior location and determine whether this is a corner hit. Wait, what? So it starts off at none, it hits something, it's still none, but it's self that wall hit is, let's say, right now. And then it hits the top, let's say. Now that now that means self that prior wall hit is is right. And self that wall hit is top. Does that not work? And then you could just use that to see. Uh, go ahead and write out some code to show me what you mean. Because wait, you're saying we lose. So you want to go two priors? You want to go prior prior wall hit? Um, no. Uh, so right here. When we when this line of code executes, we are updating prior wall hit to be whatever wall hit is. And then we're updating wall hit to be the new location. Um Oh, well, okay. So, so both start off as none, right? And yeah. Then as, it, as it bounces, let's say it's bouncing, bouncing, bounce, like right here now. Self dot prior wall hit is still none, so we know that that's the first bounce, and then self dot wall hit is is whatever x and y is right here. Yeah. So, here. so after this, you're right. So after this, we need to detect. Uh, check wall hit and prior wall hit. I think. Sorry, my bad. Um. So after we do this, how do we check whether these two are close enough to each other? Um, well, we, okay, we can make an outside fun. Let, let's, we can make it a function outside so that it doesn't get so congested, but it would be like def or I guess, yeah, it would be def corner Q. And it would just use, it'd be like, if self dot prior wall, I, I'm just going to use like word, like it's close enough okay. to, to self dot wall hit. Um, print 
corner was hit. Oh, well, it would be this, and it would be like... Oh, actually, no, that would work. So you can, we can do a distance, um, like a x squared plus y squared div square root thing to, and then, so we can calculate that distance and then make sure that Wait. it is smaller than a certain number. We could do that. Or. Or. Wait. Because we, so if the, if we hit the floor on the right, like if we hit the floor, we really don't give, we don't really care about the Y. We care about the X value if, if it hits the floor. So yeah. Can we just do self.center. Like if it hits the floor, we do just, we just keep track of self.center.x and that just. We could, but that would be extra logic to only keep track of one of those variables. Oh, because calculating the distance would be easier that way? Well, uh, no, it's I mean, you still need both x and y because when you hit one thing, you'll only need the x value, and when you hit the other thing, you'll need the y value. Or maybe I'm not following... Actually, yeah, let's, let's just go with this guy, with, with this logic. I think it works. So, distance. Uh, let's do, oh my gosh. My typing is, like, super weird. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, Self.distance between P and Q. You can do, um, I think it's math dot square root of, uh, <clears throat> the sum of the squares, the sum of the squares of the differences. So p dot x minus q dot x squared, uh, plus p dot y minus q dot y squared square root of all that so that gives you a distance and then we can check whether that distance is small enough um, mm -hmm. and we actually don't the way we, we wrote it instead of dot x we have uh, index zero and index one. Okay, so return. Okay. And then here we can do self dot distance uh, between self dot prior wall it and self dot wall hit oh wait you can oh wow okay yeah i forgot you could do that with functions ah uh, whether that is less than 15 ah uh, wait uh i'm messing up uh I think it's my autocomplete. I think my autocomplete is messing me up. And it seems to be specifically in Python mode. Oh, shoot. I gotta go. Um, okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>